June 11th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 56 and 57 from the Old Testament. Have mercy on me, O God, for men are attacking me. All day long hostile enemies are tormenting me. Those who anticipate my defeat attack me all day long. Indeed, many are fighting against me, O exalted one. When I am afraid, I trust in you. In God, I boast in his promise. In God, I trust. I am not afraid. What can mere men do to me? All day long they cause me trouble. They make a habit of plotting my demise. They stalk and lurk. They watch my every step as they prepare to take my life. Because they are bent on violence, do not let them escape. In your anger, bring down the nations, O God. You keep track of my misery. Put my tears in your leather container. Are they not recorded in your scroll? My enemies will turn back when I cry out to you for help. I know that God is on my side. In God, I boast in his promise. In the Lord, I boast in his promise. In God, I trust I am not afraid. What can mere men do to me? I am obligated to fulfill the vows I made to you, O God. I will give you the thank offerings you deserve. When you deliver my life from death, you keep my feet from stumbling, so that I might serve God as I enjoy life. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. For in you I have taken shelter. In the shadow of your wings I take shelter until trouble passes. I cry out for help to the sovereign God, to the God who vindicates me. May he send help from heaven and deliver me from my enemies who hurl insults. Selah. May God send his loyal love and faithfulness. I am surrounded by lions. I lie down among those who want to devour me. Men whose teeth are spears and arrows, whose tongues are a sharp sword. Rise up above the sky, O God. May your splendor cover the whole earth. They have prepared a net to trap me. I am discouraged. They have dug a pit for me. They will fall into it. Selah. I am determined, O God, I am determined. I will sing and praise you. Awake, my soul. Awake, O stringed instrument and harp. I will wake up at dawn. I will give you thanks before the nations, O Master. I will sing praises to you before foreigners. For your loyal love extends beyond the sky, and your faithfulness reaches the clouds. Rise up above the sky, O God. May your splendor cover the whole earth. God, just the other day I was talking to a friend of mine and we were talking about how interesting it is that as we pursue our ministries more and more full time, how much persecution shows up. Uh, and it's not like a big surprise and it's definitely not discouraging to the point that we're going to stop it, but it's so fascinating to me that that people out there honestly think that the devil doesn't exist, that this evil doesn't exist. Boy, it's so apparent because as soon as I press into ministry, as soon as I move things around in my life so I can do ministry more and more, as soon as I, I have incredible conversations with people who are listening to these videos, it, it's just fascinating to me that almost instantly that persecution starts to happen in all different formats. But as I was, I was telling him this past week when we were talking about ministry persecution, how crazy awesome it is that that armor of God that you tell us and talk about throughout the Bible is so ever present that I have learned that as I grow deeper and deeper in my relationship with you, that armor seems to somehow become more and more resilient. I am more and more adamant to fight against that persecution. Uh, just like it says in the Psalms here, in one second, he's, oh, I'm so discouraged. Uh, they've dug a pit for me and then the the next line is I am determined oh God I am determined I will sing and praise you and and that's how I really feel that uh, as I cover myself in your word daily as I uh, pray and talk to you throughout the day as I uh, have relationships with other people who are your disciples it just strengthens that armor in my own life and 
even though the persecution has gotten worse, it seems like dealing with it has become easier. I don't know <laughs> how else to put it. Uh, but with, with incredible thankfulness and blessings that you have opened up paths for me uh, to, the, to do the ministry work that you've asked me to do. And, you know, the persecution part only makes me more determined, as the psalmist says. I am very determined. I am determined to pers push past that persecution, to get past the temptations, uh, and to focus on what you have me doing while I'm here on earth for you. God, thank you for your faithfulness that overwhelms me and surprises me at every corner of this this adventure that I I am on for you. God, thank you for your grace in times where I'm kind of or really lost. And I might make bad choices in those times. And I just thank you for your grace and, and always showing me a way out of those situations. A way to move forward and not to get so caught up in what has happened, what has occurred, uh, what the persecution is, but that I can see a way out and I can see that path moving forward. God, I just pray for all of your disciples today. I do know that persecution comes hard and heavy, and it is easy to get defeated and discouraged. And I've even seen some people in ministry give up because of it. God, just continue to continue to cover them with your grace, your mercy, your forgiveness, and that amazing, powerful armor of God that you give us. Thank you, God. In your son's name I pray. Amen.